Okay, this is our last phoneme isolation question. And it's another long one. Uh, this is from that science of teaching reading question from Texas, that exam. Now notice the length. This is just the setup, right? <laughs> and, and then we have the actual question. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. So this is going to take some time. So do me a favor. Uh, I think this is a three minute question, but let's just start with uh, two minutes. And I want you to do your best to, to read this front part in two minutes, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll, we'll go to the last section, okay? And we'll take one minute on that. So read this to yourself, uh, please, first. Ready? Pause me, and uh, we'll go. Okay. Now you read it over. Uh, let's go through what you noticed. Well, it's an assessment question, informal assessment, meaning this could fall under the assessment a question section of your test, right? And uh, it's, it's a type of assessment in reading that's used to gather information to guide instruction. Now, what type of assessment is it? Is it a comprehension assessment? Is it a fluency assessment? No, this one involves phonemic awareness. So we're gonna be working with phonemic awareness that ability to hear, identify, and manipulate sounds in spoken word, individual sounds in spoken word. And it's a kindergarten teacher, which means that the students that are in this assessment, they're, they're pretty young. So we're thinking kindergarten, I don't know, five, six-year-old, okay? Okay, so what's the teacher doing? Well, the teacher meets with the students and says, we're gonna play a game, play a word game. I'm gonna say the word. Uh, that you know when you hear it, I want you to say each sound in the word in the uh, in the right order. So we're looking to see if they can segment and hear the sounds in the right order. Okay, so so something to do with hearing the sounds in the right order. And and then they say, uh, for example, if I say fan, you'll say f and n. Now look. The teacher wants them to practice phoneme segmentation. Can you see that? They're hoping that they take that, but this shouldn't be phoneme isolation. It should actually be phoneme segmentation, where they're taking the word fan and they're breaking it into individual sounds, segmenting it into sounds. They're segmenting it into three sounds, the f sound, the an sound, and the n sound, right? So that's ideally what the, the, the teacher wants. So their hope is that the student will be able to play this game uh, involving phoneme segmentation. But this is the student's response. The student, uh, the, the student they, they do this activity, and after, the, after meeting with the students, the teacher reviews the performance and notices several students perform similarly on the assessment. And this is sort of what they do. They say, at... M, N, L, I, N, H, A, A, T, G, U, M. Now, what are they doing? It looks like they're. It looks like it's onset and rhyme, right? But remember how in onset and rhyme they're identifying the initial sound, so they're kind of like halfway there. They're identifying the initial sound. They're just not segmenting the rhyme. Is that right? So it's like, it's, it's, it's not, they're, they're being asked to do segmentation, but they're not quite there. They're, they're dividing it into onset and rhyme. They're identifying the initial sound, which is uh, um, some type of phone, uh, phoneme isolation, but not the end. So this is what the teacher notices. They notice that they're identifying the initial sound, the rhyme, the onset, but they're not breaking apart the rhyme. They're not segmenting the rhyme. Now I want you to take one minute and I want you to read, I want you to read the rest of it. Okay. One minute on your own. Go. Okay. On go. Given the information provided, which of the following student activities would be most appropriate for the teacher to include when planning differentiated instruction to promote the student's growth and phonemic awareness. Okay, so they're able to break it into onset and rhyme. They're able to identify, uh, isolate the first phoneme in each of those uh, single syllable words. But how would we help them with the segmenting? 
uh, would it be, um, would we go to decodable text? That's really not what we're doing here, right? Decodable texts are very helpful when, when a student has uh, sort of cracked the code with the alphabetical principle and they start to learn basic phonics or basic letter sound correspondence, then this might be uh, really helpful for them to practice. We're not gonna, we're gonna do decodable text in a little bit, so I'll save that for later, but it's not what we're going for. Is it um, um, identify and match pictures that represent words with the same onset and rhyme? Is that what it is? Well, we don't want them to remain in the onset and rhyme zone, right? We want them to move beyond that. So we're going to cross that one off too. How about this one here? Practice reading simple words that belong to a common word family like CVC words. Is that what we're doing? Or, or some, some type of word family like word, SH words. Is that what we're doing? No, not doing that. So what do we got? We got A. Oh, it's always A. Identify and match the initial, medial, and final sounds of words represented by the picture. So we're, we're practicing isolating the individual phonemes in the words. For example, in the word men, we would have uh, in that word, we'd practice isolating the initial, the middle sound, the medial sound, and the final sound in that word. Now that would help them with phony, that would be isolating every different, by isolating every different sound, we're essentially showing them how to do phoneme segmentation, right? You like that team? So here's the thing. Um, as you get comfortable with this, you'll start to see, hey, this is a phoneme, uh, phonemic awareness activity, right? It's shouting, it's shouting it out. So if you can spot it, uh, you'll be able to get it right a lot faster, okay? Let's just go to this one right here from that test and just look at the answer choices. Uh, this one actually doesn't have an answer choice. It has an extended <laughs> rationale behind why the answer is A. It's from that Science of Teaching Reading test. It's number six. The answer to number six on the Science of Teaching Reading test, the 293, is A. And I would encourage you to go and read these over. Uh, because they give a lot, they just go through a lot of vocab and they really help a beginner teacher and an intermediate teacher clarify things. And if you're a reading specialist, guess what? It's going to help you too. Okay, so the answer is A. This is from that Science of Teaching Reading Test, the 293. Everyone should check it out if you have time, okay? The an this is number six. The answer is A from this test. Great one to do, okay? All right. All right, now we're gonna move on. Now, we actually are gonna move on to uh, phoneme segmentation questions. So we've, we've done a whole bunch of questions involving phoneme isolation. And now we're gonna move on to blending and segmenting uh, types of questions, okay? So we'll go to that next level now. Let's take a look.